Good morning, Nom Nomers. I am on the Williamsburg Bridge this morning. It is a cold but pleasant sunny day, beautiful out. And today I want to show you what I eat in a normal day off camera. A little behind the scenes peek. So I'm gonna finish up my walk here and then I will meet you back home and we'll get eaten. Show you what my real life is like. Hey, hungry people, so welcome home. On my days off, I really like to make just a giant delicious salad. And we're gonna start off by making a homemade dressing because I don't really buy dressings that much anymore. I make my own. I like to make a homemade smoky and herby ranch. So we're gonna make it in the blender. It's really simple. Start off with our garlic. And then this is just parsley. Put a scoop of sour cream in here, buttermilk. I love that buttermilk ranch flavor. Doesn't need too much to get you that nice tang. Mayonnaise. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Yes. Yes, it is. Make it nice and creamy. Somewhere around here I have some anchovies. Oh my god, it just squirted me with anchovy oil. Jesus. And we're not gonna add any salt to this because the anchovies are all the salt we need. You can make this without anchovies. I would just recommend adding some salt then. Worcestershire, however you say it. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. A little bit of that. A little bit of liquid smoke, which is literally liquid smoke. People think it's like some weird, you know, chemical concoction. No, it's just smoke captured in water. And white pepper. You can try actually grab the white pepper because it looks an awful lot like garlic powder and onion powder. Which would be fine in this, but we already have garlic. And we're about to add some onion in the form of chives. Put a bunch of chives in here. All the pepper powder is tickling my nose and making me want to sneeze real bad. Oh, she's weeping. How is she ready? Oh, he's gonna get loud. Can't see what I'm doing. Oh, <laughs> smells amazing. Looks delicious. So herby and fresh. Mmm, it's tangy, savory, oniony, garlicky beautiful salad dressing and that's ready to go so we'll just save that and let's assemble our salad okay everybody we're gonna start with the spring mix here let me get this in here before i sit down oh jesus got our spring mix going we're gonna add red onion I love red onion. I've chopped like multicolored tomatoes to make it pretty and juicy. I have some leftover bacon from making a breakfast pizza yesterday. Throw that in there. Breakfast pizza was so good. I put bacon, cream cheese, everything bagel seasoning, chives, pastrami, lox in there. Like smoked salmon with pastrami seasonings on it. So delicious. Bell pepper. I know green is always the cheapest bell pepper. I don't know why. Sometimes you just want a splash of color, so I went with the orange. I thought the orange was pretty. We're gonna have some crunch. I love croutons. So delicious. Fun to crunch. Easy to make at home, but I was feeling kind of lazy today. Didn't want to run the oven that long, drying out little cubes of bread, so I just bought some. 
so good. And finally, our salad dressing, our homemade ranch. Give this a quick toss. I need to get a bigger bowl. Oh my god. With that dresser is just amazing. Let's just pour this out. Don't fall off the table, don't fall off the table, don't fall off the table. Take off my glasses because this is gonna be a feast on with them falling in. Mmm. I may be saying, this is a huge salad. Yes, it is a huge salad. And yes, it does have carbs on it. And yes, it does have a little meat in it. But it's still more healthy than not eating a salad, you know? If I had a big pasta dish instead. So on my days off, this is a great way for me to enjoy my food, but still eat a whole bunch of fiber, get a whole bunch of vitamins. Dark leafy green vegetables are a great way to get everything your body needs. It tastes insanely good. The anchovy just sings in the dressing. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, doesn't it taste fishy? No. When you put anchovies in sauces, it doesn't taste fishy. It tastes like savory. Umami. It's very savory, so let's make a drink to go with this. Of course, water, but we're going to make one change. So what I generally do on my days off is I'll have a big glass of water in the afternoon. And I will add a spoonful of psyllium husk. Now psyllium husk is a insoluble fiber. It basically absorbs water and turns into like 20 times its volume. So this glass of calorie free drink is actually full of fiber that will expand and soak up water in my body and soak up water in my bowel and create a full feeling which keeps me from eating more. That one's orange flavored. I think you can get them in plain, but that's just a Target brand. It's super cheap. And it acts as kind of like a well, I guess they call it a bulker or something, but it's a mass that moves through your colon, keeps you nice and clean, gives me a very regular bowel movement every morning before I leave, and it's it's the most beautiful, beautiful poop you've ever seen. Amazing texture, not too hard, not too soft, usually just one or two wipes afterwards. And as the added benefit of helping lower your cholesterol, because it keeps some cholesterol in your body and your digestive tract from being absorbed and just carries it out with it. I love fiber. I mean, I love carbs, but I love fiber. So let me know in the comments, like, what are your healthy but delicious foods you like to eat? I also like to make this with that chopped up, um, what's the word? Cucumbers. Duh. I thought I had some cucumbers. 
But I looked at them in the fridge and I realized, oh no, they're like three weeks old and they have mold on them, so. Never mind about putting cucumbers in this, but I do like cucumbers in a salad. Another variation I like to do. Is make a dressing with avocado. It's literally just like half an avocado, a little bit of water, a little bit of seasoning, salt, pepper. A squirt of mayo, a spoonful of sour cream, put it in the blender. And you have this creamy, amazing avocado dressing. And you can make kind of a Latin salad with, uh, I like to do roasted corn, like esquites. Uh, I'll cut corn off the cob, roast it in a pan with some like cayenne pepper, some salt, some uh, cilantro. And I'll toss that with a bunch of crumbled cotilla cheese. And then have that mixed in with a mix of salad greens, some drained like black beans, tortilla strips instead of croutons. That was really good. And with that avocado dressing. Oh. I would eat that avocado dressing on almost anything. I would eat this ranch on almost anything. Both would be good on burgers. That'd be so good. And of course you can make these salads with shrimp, sliced chicken. This version with this dressing goes well with uh, chopped up hard boiled eggs, it's always fun. I chopped up ham and chopped up provolone too, super good in it. Mm. As long as at the heart of it you're getting all these leafy greens and all this fiber, then I say it's a win. And this will make me feel much better later in the week when I do more hefty videos like McDonald's Big Mac versus Double Cheeseburger, which is better. Spoiler alert, it's probably going to be the Double Cheeseburger because it has the better meat patties on it, right? That's what I assume, but I've never tried them side by side, so we got to see. Or taste testing the um, the new Italian chicken sandwich from uh, what's the name of that place? Burger King. And those videos will a bit be a bit more salty and fatty, and have basically no fiber in them. So balance it out. I also find being in the habit of like eating one meal a day really helps control my snacking. I don't really snack at all. And I think that keeps down my, my overall consumption a lot. Like you'll never see just like potato chips or something laying around my house. Unless specifically I bought them for a meal to go with something or to be like an ingredient in a sandwich or crumbled up into a coating for, you know, a breading for meat or something like that. I don't just keep that stuff around. I try in general just to avoid any caloric consumption without, you know, being part of a main meal or maybe like a celebration or something. But if we don't have, never drink a soda.
sometimes on a medication, maybe a Diet Coke, but definitely not full, you know, sugar soda. And if I'm going to drink a soda for, to go along with a specific meal or something, I would have to go get a, like a Mexican one to get the real sugar. It tastes so much better. But luckily I live in like a very diverse city, obviously New York City. And you can get um, Mexican Coke, Fanta, a few other things, you know. How do you say it? Haritos? Haritos? Than any corner store. But I hold myself back. Because I know it would be so easy to get into the habit of having that every day. It's right there. But I wouldn't feel very good. I wouldn't look very good. And I'd probably die a lot sooner if I gave into that desire. Salad is so much more filling than you think. I guess it's just all the fiber takes up a lot of room inside you. Even if it's not really a lot of calories. But I hope you guys have enjoyed or satisfied your curiosity of like People always ask, like, how do I eat like that and not get super fat? Well, first, exercise. Secondly, eating like this off camera. And then thirdly, I don't film big mukbangs every single day. Most of my days are more like this than, like, the other videos you see. Ooh. The white pepper over time is adding up on my tongue. It's a spicy salad. I'm gonna have to take a break because I'm getting so full. But thank you guys for watching. If you have an awesome recipe for something healthy, you want to share in the comments, let me know. Post that up. I'd love to try it out. I'm sure everybody else would too. Thank you so much. Remember to like and subscribe. It really helps.